Hello fellow inhabitants of Palworld and welcome to today's video. So what we're going to be doing today is showing you how you can get a four star beast in Palworld. So we've gone for the Ormontide for ours, the Ormontide Ignis. And we're going to be showing you how to get your pal so powerful that it can defeat the bosses because the bosses are quite hard in Palworld. So the first thing you're going to need is the Pal Essence Condenser. So you can unlock this at level 14. You will need ancient technology points for this. You get those from doing bosses and dungeons and stuff so you're also going to want to collect as many pals of the type of the pal that you want to be your beast pal so you can do that either by catching a load of them breeding a load of them doing them both at the same time that's what we did even though it was a bit more difficult because we chose one that doesn't spawn very regularly so we had to breed a lot of yormontides for this because what you want is the passive skills. So what we wanted was the fighting ones. We wanted burly body, we wanted muscle head, we wanted hooligan, we wanted brave. Because we don't care about it working at base, these are our pals we want just for beating the bosses. You are going to want to breed a lot of these, so you're going to need a lot of cake for this, because, yeah, you need 116 pals in total in order to do this. Having said that, they did just do an update on the 28th of February, saying that they've corrected an issue to allow pals of rank 1 or higher to be selected as concentrated material, and the higher ranked pals yield more points when concentrated. So I'm assuming that's related to this, so if you've got pals which have already ranked up a bit, they may count as more than one pal, so you may not have to use quite as many, but we're yet to experiment with this as it's just been implemented. But because you're going to be going for the passive skills that you want, you're going to have to breed a lot to get the pal that you want with these passive skills on it. So you're probably going to have enough at the end anyway. You don't need to worry about the active skills right now. We're going to be working on those later. That is a completely different thing. When you're breeding, you just want to go for the passive skills. So we've got one we're quite happy with. So now we're going to go over to the condenser and we're going to start condensing some pals. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you access the condenser is select your base pal. So so this is the pal that you want to get to four stars. This is the one that you want to be powerful. So make sure you choose the right one here. You don't want to condense this one. You really don't want to condense this one. So choose this one. And then as you can see, you need to use pals as essences and you'll need four for the first star. So just start putting your pals in there. It feels awful. It does. But believe me, it's worth it. So you can see as you add the pals to it, it will tell you how much the health's going to go up by, how much the attack's going to go up by, and how much the defense is going to go up by. So we click begin condensing, and as you see, the pals used as essence will vanish afterwards. So there we go, we've got one star on our dragon. So now we select the base pal again. So we can't name them on Xbox, we can't name our pals at all. It's really annoying, so like, when you're trying to sort out your pal box, you actually have to just look at the stats because you don't know which one because you can't specify names. On PC, I believe this is different, so hopefully they'll bring that in for console as well soon. So for the next star, we're gonna need 16 pals to condense. So we're gonna do that now. And then the third one, you need 32. And for the fourth star, you'll need 64. So 64 pals condensed and we are done. Now the difference in having a four star pal is absolutely insane. And you are gonna need four star pals for some of the end game bosses because they are solid. So it's usually after we've got our four star pal that we start using the pal souls at the Statue of Power and then we'll add the skill fruits to give them the best skills that we can. So we'll probably bring out a video on the Statue of Power and the pal souls and stuff as well. And I imagine on the skills also. So hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, maybe leave a like on the video and consider subscribing if you're not already. We got lots of pal world on here and we've got loads more to come. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day and happy condensing. Take care. Get the bell on.